of fact, and the culmination of a lot of conversation, I'll say that at least. And another culmination is coming up, and that is the fact that for the very first time, the CWA champ, Jerry Lawler, will be meeting Monday night in the Coliseum the AWA champ, hey. Nick Bockwinkel, right. to decide will end up with one champion out of it. That's what Lawler wanted. I think there's a lot of people who wanted Nick Bockwinkel uh, not backing up from Lawler by any right. means. Boy, I'll tell you what, he is some kind of champion. That'll be coming up Monday night, title against title, and it should be a good one down there. Mm -hmm. Right now, we're going to troop around front here. I want to Get out here where I'll have the opportunity to introduce a couple of guys that you have not previously met face to face on uh, our championship wrestling. You introduced, uh, were introduced to him by tape last week, Billy Robinson. Billy, good to have you out, and Paul Ellering. I, 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 I was just saying that the folks got a chance to see Paul and Billy in action last week with the uh, with the tape. This is our first chance to have you here, and I got to tell you, it is a real pleasure. I said it before, you're a wrestler's wrestler. Everybody knows that. It's a real pleasure to have well, you here. Well, thank Billy. you, Lance. I want to say it's a pleasure to meet you. I've been wanting to meet you. You're famous around the world. <laughs> you really are. <laughs> Bless you. Uh, Paul, uh, Paul uh, from uh, Minnesota, Melrose, Minnesota, and, and Billy from Manchester, England. And, uh, Billy, I know that... Uh, the reputation of being a wrestler's wrestler has some of the drawbacks in there because you run into some yahoos like we had. I'm sorry about the little activity we had earlier well, in there. Well, all I can say is that I'm out to wrestle. I want to prove myself as one of the top wrestlers in the world and get a crack at the World Championship. And what people call me or what people scream and shout doesn't make any difference. I'm, I'm not a talking man. I prefer that actions speak loud in words and I get in the ring and I wrestle. That's all I'm here to do. You, you are a real businessman in that ring. I've had an opportunity to see you a couple of times. You've just been in the area about a week or so. And uh, 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 Billy, i got to ask you, do you ever really get mad? <laughs> oh, I can see the occasion where one uh, would lose one's temper, but that's at a disadvantage. That puts you at a disadvantage. If you lose your temper and uh, get in there and you forget what you've been trained to do, I believe that I'm a, a machine in a way, and uh, if the machine gets out of cogs and the cogs get a bit crazy, then I can make mistakes, and I don't intend to make mistakes. <laughs> he doesn't make very many of them. As a matter of fact, you don't make too many of them playing cribbage either. You dog know, <laughs> a cribbage player too, Billy Robinson. And Paul... Uh, uh, by golly, I'll tell you, we saw that we saw that tape of you last week. I have not had an opportunity. We're going to get our first look on championship wrestling. Welcome to the territory. Well, it's a pleasure to be here. You know, I've uh, I've traveled over the country and over the world, and uh, there's a uh, Memphis, and the Memphis area has a big reputation for wrestling. That's why I've decided to come here. I've came here, and uh, I'm from a small town, and. And uh, my dad always told me when I was young, he said, Paul, you work hard and, and you're going to get what you work for. And I've worked hard and uh, I've come here and I want to win the, the world championship right here in Memphis. Yeah, Lance, well, I want to yeah. cut in here. This guy is very, very modest. We have trained together before. And this man broke the world record of the deadlift. And he doesn't tell about what he can do or what he has done. And that's why I appreciate the man. The man has broken the world record at the deadlift. And he's one of the strongest men in the country at his mm. Yeah. You held uh, uh, the world record, uh, uh, Paul, at 745 and a quarter pounds for a deadlift, right? Well, uh, that's right. And I thank Billy for saying that. He's a... Uh... He's a great champion wrestler, and uh, he's never uh, beside himself to always uh, say a good word about another fellow wrestler. Well, I, I did set the world record, and I worked very hard to do it. And, uh, you were also the NCAA weightlifting champion, were you not? That's right, and uh, I did these. Uh, these goals were all goals of mine to build myself up to become a professional wrestler. I took up weightlifting, but I had a very extensive amateur wrestling career. But I had to gain some size, so I took up weightlifting, and along the way, I... I did become the NCAA wrestling champion, and I did set a world record. My golly, I'll tell you what. <laughs> and there's no question he built a frame in there. Paul, uh, again, delighted to have you here. We'd like to see you in action right here. And, Billy, I'm going to ask you, sometimes uh, when I get in there and I give them my country connotation of what the hold is, I don't exactly call them by the right name. Would you sit down with me? And, I would love to, and I hope that people can understand my accent. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks, Paul. Good luck Thank to you. you. And here we're going to be looking forward to seeing you around here. <laughs> 